Hey everybody. Today um, I am up here at the Hamilton Road Goodwill, um, the one closer to 161. And I'm going to go inside here and we're just going to go look at the Halloween Christmas section to see how full it is. Today is October. Today is October 9th. Let's go. So we're all done in there. Um, they actually had a really big Halloween section, which was really neat. Um, they usually have a good bit, but they actually put in cap sections in the rows of Halloween. And the um, the Christmas was still there like it always is. Um, the only thing I'll say is I've never seen this store that messy. Like I've seen it where it's crowded on the shelves and they, they were, it was just very messy. Like. I don't know if they don't have very much staff going on or what, but there was like, there was just constant stuff catching my cart, the wheel. I don't know. Maybe they just got low staff or they're just having some issues. I still love the store. I always find stuff. 
the only thing I ended up getting was this little um, candy dish. It does have a lot of like scratches and stuff from the edges just from being used. Um, I'm either going to use it for myself or I might sell it. I don't know. I'll probably just use it for myself. Um, $1.99. So we're going to move on down the road. We're going to go to a couple of Newark Goodwills and then I have to go get Trey. So let's get going. All right, now we are here at the big Newark Goodwill. Um, we're gonna go inside, see, take a look at their Halloween and their Christmas section. So let's go. was short <laughs> um they only had the halloween section there right up front and it's been the same for a couple weeks um looks like a newer stuff some costumes and things like that the christmas was just the one couple tables and then the four section um not very much on there so in terms of that we're gonna move on i didn't buy anything so we're gonna move on down to um my personal favorite local one buckeye lake we're gonna go there and then that'll be it for the day. So hopefully there's a little bit more to look at. <laughs> All right, now we are here at Buckeye Lake. So let's go inside, see what we can find for Halloween or Christmas. These here, $1.99. Radio is not as loud. A lot of 90s ornaments, $1.99. McDonald's. Sort of like little wind chimes. $15.99. I'm not going to get it, but I'm going to look it up later. Look how cute. Cute, cute, cute. Alright guys, so it is the next day. We are home. Um, I did not find anything in the holiday sections there at the Buckeye Lake Goodwill, but I did find stuff in their carts that they had sitting out which I was very surprised because they bring out the carts usually in the mornings and I'm, I didn't get there until one o'clock. So I was very surprised that there was stuff still in the carts. So let me show you what I got. All right, so I ended up getting five Stephen King books, $1.99 a piece. Um, this one, I really like the cover. Let me show you, hold on, sorry. I like the cover. Um, they're not worth too terribly much, but I just thought that they're really, really neat. Um, I, not a big bookseller, so I don't know how much they're going to go for, but I might even just read them before I try to sell them. Not sure yet. Um, I got a tray, just a little pair of shorts for $1.99, little Mario. I did get this vintage, uh, SeaWorld mug for... 99 cents and it has the old tag on it here, but I paid 99 cents um, It looks pretty good. It still dings. So like it has the no cracks or anything um, So I'm very excited about that. I did get this Pier one 
It's a 2006. It's loose inside. It's a Santa 2006. Merry Christmas. Now, if the ornament is what's supposed to be in here, the box says that it's from Pier 1. I haven't opened it yet because it's taped a good bit, so I haven't opened it yet to see what's in here, but um, I think that's a good deal. I got it for $1.99. And then um, anybody, if anybody has seen my pictures that I do of my mantle, where I decorate my mantle for the season and I take a picture, I usually post them on Instagram. Um, I don't think I've posted them anywhere else, but I have a cow. Bought her at like at home or home goods or something like that. I call her Bessie. Um, but she's like a painted, kind of like a Jersey cow. I love Jersey cows. So I bought <laughs> um, a rooster and a pig to put with my cow when spring comes. Um, I paid $1.99 for these two as well. And I believe they are from... Doesn't say. I think that they're from Home Goods too, because it's kind of the same coloring and painting way. So very excited about that. Um, so I spent a total of sixteen dollars yesterday at the Buckeye Lake Goodwill. Like I said, nothing was really from the holiday section, but I still found some neat stuff. I'm very excited for. So that was yesterday. Today I dropped Trey off at school, and then I went to my local Zanesville Benz and got there at nine. And so I went through the bins that had been there overnight. And I actually found a good bit of vintage Christmas and I'm very, very excited about it. Um, but let me show you here what I found. All right, so at the bins today, I did find this candle ring. Um, it is kind of the tacky, but it doesn't feel like it's old tacky. I got it just because I thought it'd be pretty with like a white or red candle in it. So I got that. Now, I found this lady, all not crushed up, but all thrown aside in the bins. Um, I'm going to work on her and try to get her to look better, but look at her. And she's so pretty. No, she's very dirty. Um, she is a cloth face, and it has been hand-painted. Actually, it looks like it might be a print. I don't know. She might be newer than I'm thinking. But she has um, a base. Let's hold on to her head here. Made in Korea, so she's not really that much, that not as vintage as I thought, but also not as new as I thought. So she was very, very pretty, and I'm gonna have to like maneuver her dress and different things around. But she was in the bins, and her head does come off a little bit. So I'm just trying to keep her pretty. So I got her, very excited. I found this little lady. Her hair is here. <laughs> so her, her hair has came off. I don't know if somebody can fix her, but I'm gonna try to sell her and let's see if somebody, sell her really cheap, see if somebody can fix her because she deserves to be fixed. She's so cute. Um, so yeah, I got her. Found this. 1939, Virginia. Beach, Virginia. It's like a little pennant flag. How neat is that? And it was at the bins. Like, it's dirty and it obviously needs clean, but that is just so neat. And I don't think it's a reproduction because it feels old. Like, it just feels old. So I'm excited. That's really neat. I did find this little bowl, Caddy just for random decorations to put a bow in to be pretty. I did find this little brass bow uh, stocking holder. I got that. There's no markings on it. I did find made in China, so it's not really that old. Um, but a friend of mine likes clowns, so I got that for her. I didn't really go through this bag before I checked out. I should have. <laughs> um, okay, this might be controversial. I don't know. It is a plastic shower curtain that somebody has used because there's water stains on it. But it is one of those really thick shower curtains. So I, and I need one. So instead, instead of spending $15, $20 to get a really thick shower curtain, 
I'm just going to spray this one down, clean it, put it in my shower. Um, living, embrace your thrifty soul. <sighs> and then I did also pick up this one and a quarter inch foam camper mounting tape. It's like a seal tape, but it's really, really thick. Um, we have old windows, so for our window, well, they're not old, they just are, the seals broke, so they, they leak. Um, so for winter, this being thicker will go on the seams a lot better, so I picked that up. This I thought was neat. Just a little toy. <laughs> I don't know. I figured Che would like it. Just boop, boop, boop. They're button heads. I found this little bag. I didn't even open them up to see. They're little hearts with some gold trim. And then there's one little candy cane. I don't know that they're old. Probably not. But again, I didn't want them to go in the trash. Because this bin, I found all this from the first row when I first got there. And this bin, this row would be the first one that they would switch out in the mornings. So I always go there and look first just because that's the stuff that gets took away first. So, yeah. Okay. And I found this little Santa in a box. Um, 1978. Dakin, R. Dakin. Be cute. But yeah, he was there too. Just sitting in the bins. So there's these two there's these two deer. This red one and then there's this white one. And they're a little rough. They're missing some felt. Um, like this one's ear is broke a little bit and you just have to re-tighten it down. But yeah, they were in the bins. So I picked them up. Um, they just need a good cleaning. Now, like, like I said, they're missing a lot of felt. But when you get them cleaned up and you put them for Christmas, they even got glitter on their butts. Like, come on. You gotta, you gotta save them. You gotta save them. He even still has his bell. It doesn't ring, but he has a bell. I found this little tree skirt. And he just kind of looks older. I don't know that he's too terribly old. The felt feels older. Or the flannel. I don't know. He's cute. I figure somebody might want to take care of him. And then... Then this girl was there. And I could not find her other hand. She has one hand and I could not find her other hand. But... I grabbed her. She's somebody's homemade project. She's with a styrofoam. So I grabbed her. And then again, this little one, she is dirty and needs cleaned. But somebody made her out of some doilies, some plastic or paper doilies. She's a little pick. You can feel her inside, but she's got her hair and her wings. She's a little dirty, but you know, cute. I got some random straw fruits strawberries and cherries for my uh apothecary jars for spring and then this this ceramic horse there's no marking on it or anything just a ceramic horse little ornament and then i got 98 degrees ornament from 19 1998 maybe i don't know it's a 98 degrees little snow globe ornament no water just a little styrofoam balls inside Design your own snow globe. Ooh, somebody put 98 degrees. Well, it's on the, it's on the snow globe, too. And then I got a little truck for Trey and a little car for Trey. And then I found this bag. And it is little miniature fall trees or bushes. But those are cute. I've never seen little fall bushes. And they've got, you know, little bottoms. There's a whole bag of them. So I'm going to use those. I'm very excited for those. So that was one bag. Let me get everything back in. All right, bag number two. 
I got Trey this little astronaut little set that you put the tracks together and it's a puzzle. You gotta put the puzzle together the correct way and then your little spaceship here will ride on the tracks. It's battery operated. Um, I just thought that'd be fun for him to do. So I bought that for Trey. And then I got, I went ahead and picked these up. They have the butterflies and then the flowers. They need some uh, bending a little bit. They're just a little wonky, but I bought these. And then there was a random leaf or a wheat. Very tall. Um, there was one random one, so I just went ahead and grabbed it in case somebody's like looking for a replacement. These was in their section that they have the bigger items. Sometimes they pull out bigger items or heavy items. They will list them at 99 cents and then that's where, you know, you go look for those and then you pay for that separate. It's not by the, it's not by the pound. So I picked up these two, here we go, these two uh, candlesticks and they are marked EB. So they are a bald one. Um, I should be able to get between the prices are ranging on eBay than what I saw was like 40 ish to like 60 ish. Like there's quite a few listed still too, but there's been seven or eight ish sold. So if anything, I'll use them for Christmas, but they're going to be listed on eBay. Very excited. They were 99 cents a piece. Another Christmas item that I did get is this lit candelier, it says. I haven't took it out of the box yet. Um, but it looks like they're supposed to have these red bulbs, which is broke. They're supposed to be red over top of these. So, I don't know. But we'll see. Um, well, let's just take it out and look at it. I just grabbed it and put it in my cart. You know, because that's what we all do. Oh, it's... Okay. It's cute. It's on a little styrofoam thing. It's got the little gold trim around it. But it's just a styrofoam block. It's got the little lights here, and then the red lights here at the top. And like I said, it's supposed to have three of these. It's just plastic. Um, actually it might have melted, which is why the other ones aren't there. I don't know, but we're going to plug it in here in a while. Um, I'll put it here in the edit somewhere if it worked or not. And probably like a picture. 10 midget push-in lamps made in Japan. I just thought the box was really neat too, besides this whole sold thing here. But yeah. Then I got some applique items. Um, there was a Mickey. It's like a fabric applique. And then there is this little fairy girl. And then this little bunny rabbit set. I'll show you the back. It's just like fabric that you cut off the piece. And then it, t it tells you how to... Yeah, it tells you how to do it here. And then this is just some um, poinsettias. Christmas in the back. So yeah. A little bit, a little bit like cigarettes. A little bit. Maybe you could refresh it somehow. I don't know. Um, I found this little girl just sitting. No idea. Her butt says Hong Kong. So she's cute. Ooh. Just a solid piece of, piece of plastic with some hair. <laughs> I don't know. I thought maybe to try to find a little witch hat and then she could be a little witch sitting for my Halloween. I bought these. I know they're backwards. It says Reese's adjustable lock lockage brass stencils and they are numbers. And um, once I get them out later and look, I think they're all there. But once all the numbers are there, then um, this this sells for about $25 on eBay. So excited for this. And then this is a bag of toys. And a lot of it inside is some Minecraft toys and then um, Roblox toys. 
so I'm going to look at that later just to see price wise a lot of them have wear to them but I thought if I sold them together maybe they would sell better I don't know but we'll look at it later there's a whole bunch for Chicago people this looks like an older um, keychain might not even be older but it says Chicago and it has the dot there the star where it is which covers up like the whole center of the United States but you know um, but this turns like that. So it's neat. It just looked a little vintage, so I just grabbed it. It's pretty interesting. And then in this box of a mug, I opened it, and at first I thought the mug was broke. It's like, oh, mug's broke. Um, but what is in here are some American bricks. There's like the brick bricks. It's, I think it's like a predecessor to Legos. I'm assuming from what I can see. And then I think this is the same brand. It says something there in the middle that I can't see, but I think it's the same brand. I don't know, but there's a whole box and they're not, it's not little. I mean, it's not big it's a little box. But most of them are these American bricks. And they're not really worth too much. But it'll be interesting to see what they're worth. I thought that was a neat, a neat pickup for something hidden. So, okay. Um, that is it. I got all the all of that today at the bins for $16. Um, that's a no, I paid $16 at Goodwill. Um, everything here at the bins, I paid 20 and I always try to stay around 20. Um, I always try to go back through my bags multiple times to make sure I look up prices if I intend on selling it. Um, just because I want to make money and I don't want to just go keep spending $20 every time I go and get a bunch of shit we don't need. Stuff. Sorry. Um, anyway, so that's it. That was my day yesterday and today. Um, we got some stuff coming up this weekend that I will film. It won't be, it will not be um, thrifting related, but it'll be fun. So if you guys want to watch that, just keep an eye out for my video coming. Uh, yeah. So thanks for watching, guys. Embrace your thrifty soul. Bye.